Hi everyone, my name is Mark. I'm with TechStack. Uh, thanks for joining this recorded webinar. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about a, an alternative uh, based on a Microsoft platform uh, to ConnectWise manage and sell. And so we're TechStack, uh, we're a Microsoft partner. As uh, most of you be well aware, you're probably a Microsoft partner yourselves. Uh, nearly all of the 200 and some odd billion dollars of annual revenue that Microsoft brings in every year, 95% of it is delivered through partner. And so what we specifically focus in on is a set of functionalities built for IT companies, uh, either software or IT services companies. Now the topic of our webinar today is to talk a little bit about how what TechStack provides, how it compares to ConnectWise Manage and Sell. And I think, uh, you know, from what we're hearing within the market over the last couple of years, um, ConnectWise, which has always been a fantastic company and, and done a great job for its partners and customers, Ever since the private equity uh, buyout in 2019, um, the stories we're hearing from uh, companies that we're talking to, the, the level of support and the commitment to, um, to the roadmap isn't quite what it was. And so uh, a number of companies are looking for alternatives. And uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about what maybe TechStack could uh, do and, and not do. Um, we're not a fit for everybody, um, but so uh, what, what we specifically uh, help organizations with. So really the, uh, the vision of TechStack is to provide a single PSA CRM platform that handles the entirety of the customer journey, right? So if you look at most uh, IT companies today, if you're a managed service provider or a IT services company, a software company, the B2B uh, customer journey is uh, almost identical, right? So there's uh, some sort of uh, process to get the, the, the prospect in the door, either through marketing or through outbound uh, selling. Uh, and, and there's usually tools and whole departments focused on that. And then as that uh, prospect becomes a customer, you need to invoice them um, and uh, you need to onboard them and then you need to support them. And then ideally get the uh, renewal through something called uh, account management, customer success, uh, QBRs, all that kind of process. Uh, and what we wanted to do is provide a, uh, a single platform to handle every step of that journey. And what we've done is built all that on Microsoft. So in our opinion, and you know, we've been at software forever, um, used all the platforms. Um, Microsoft is in a unique uh, position from some of the other uh, vendors that are out there in that not only do they have really, really awesome um, uh, platforms like uh, Power Apps, which is what TechStack's built on, Power BI for rendering reporting, um, Teams for collaboration and document management, but really awesome integration, or it's, excuse me, really awesome productivity tools like from Office, uh, Office 365, Microsoft 365, Word, Excel, Outlook, SharePoint, um, uh, OneNote, all the other uh, kind of uh, amazing tools. So what we wanted to do is bring a platform to the market for companies that are, um, I guess, uh, you know, built on Microsoft or have a Microsoft slant in their um, tech ideology. So we're going to show you the product right now. I'm going to give you the, the most brief uh, tour of the product and uh, come back and talk a little bit around change management um, and pricing and all that other stuff. So this is TechStack. Um, what you're looking at here is a Power App. Uh, so TechStack is built on the Power App platform. Um, it looks identical to Microsoft Dynamics 365. In fact, we use Dynamics 365 components specifically for some of the ticketing functionality because it's it's actually very very good. Uh, but we have have built all out uh, on Power Apps the CRM and uh, specifically uh, project related functionalities and invoicing related functionalities, which I'll I'll show you a quick tour of really uh, in a moment. But the UI is uh, you know, very much uh, what Microsoft called Fluent U UI, so very much looks like a Power App. You got your waffle up here, you know, fully embedded into Microsoft 365. You've got Active uh, Directory uh, avatar right here as well. Um, so you can see that this is a thing that kind of deploys into your tenant um, and uh, sits in the what's called the Dataverse uh, within your tenant. Um, the, in terms of what I'm looking at here is a quick dashboard. Uh, let's say I wanted to do a quick search, um, you know, look for, um, I should have had it right there, um, an account. Um, this account here is uh, a prospect, uh, they're at the pipeline stage, um, and the reason why they're at the pipeline stage is we have an open opportunity that we haven't closed with them. Um, so you can see how very quickly you can um, kind of get a sense of uh, all the account information. Um, I'll come back to this account in a quick sec, I'm going to flip over to a customer account. 
um, and this is a customer account called uh, Red Bull. Um, you can see that the customer type is customer and they're at the expand stage. They're at the expand stage because we've actually gone live with our first project. So they're actually uh, using our services today. Um, so we kind of keep track of all of that. We, we keep track of the transaction uh, that brings you from a prospect to uh, a customer and then also about a customer that is live and track the go live dates um, and we can track things like uh, services renewals. You can see here that uh, Red Bull um, has a couple products uh, that are coming up on, um, coming up on renewal for March 3rd, uh, 2023 in the past <laughs> to the renewal on this one. Um, we can track all the opportunities in here. So I probably have a renewal opportunity in here that I need to close. Uh, you can see all the invoices um, that have been generated. Um, we auto generate invoices. We also have an integration to a Microsoft uh, uh, accounting package called Business Central, uh, which we can uh, talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, you can track all the contacts um, and all the communication uh, for all the contacts roll up to the account timeline so you can see all the emails any email that goes back and forth from anybody in your organization and anybody uh, in the Red Bull organization that we're tracking as contacts all of that will be available right here so very easy to you know pick up on email communication from from other uh, parties within the organization um, and um, you know of course we can also track things uh, like projects and things like cases, which I'll uh, talk to you um, in a quick sec. So I'm actually gonna take a pause here. That was a quick view, uh, obviously not going into any level of functionality um, around uh, some of those elements, but a quick view of how Customer 360, um, what it looks like within TechStack. So the entire life cycle, all from a single um, view um, um, uh, of your customer. I'm gonna flip back to my, um, you remember my prospect account? Here we had our pipeline. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about some of the Microsoft integrations that we have, uh, pretty cool. Uh, you'll see that on every account, you have this take notes concept. Basically what it is, is we embed a OneNote file onto every account that reaches a certain stage of maturity. And you can define what stage of maturity that is. Typically we do it a pipeline or maybe a qualified stage. And it allows everybody in the organization to share a common uh, OneNote file um, and take notes. Um, so you can add as many pages as you want. Uh, these note files uh, create sections automatically for any new opportunity and or uh, project that gets created. Um, but it becomes a really great place to collaborate. So before you know it, you're gonna have um, you know dozens or hundreds of, of these OneNote files and you can very quickly uh, capture some really important information, great for service, sales to service handoffs, uh, a great place to actually um, you know, track really important information about your customer. Um, we also do the same with this concept of chat with Teams. So Teams, uh, is, you know, we've got a very pervasive, um, very pervasive um, um, integration with Teams. So we use Teams for notifications. So if you get assigned a new project task um, um, or, uh, and, and, you know, time entry and all approvals and all this kind of stuff, we have uh, dozens of notifications that you can turn on and off. And then we also use it for as a repository for collaboration and document management. So here, for example, I have a document for Five Star, um, and I can go back and forth with you know various users and have conversations about this account. Uh, and I can quickly upload a file here. And so let's say I'm gonna upload this, whatever file this is. And so you can see here that I've just uploaded a file in, in Teams. And if I go back to the account and I go to the document section of the account, and when that um, document section, you can see that I've uh, I've got that file here too. So everything is completely integrated between uh, the CRM and Teams. And the reason is the underlying um, uh, uh, mechanism is SharePoint. So we've integrated SharePoint in, in all these places. So that that's a very very strong integration uh, within the system. Uh, obviously, I mentioned Outlook, um, you know, Word, Excel. Uh, we use. I'll give you an example of some of the Word uh, stuff we do really fast. So if I go back to, uh, here we have five star. If I go to an opportunity, open that opportunity. Uh, you can see that this opportunity has uh, got a few products on it. It's a $218,000 deal. If I go to the products tab, you can see that I've got, um, you know, two products on it. I've got this, uh, you know, some hardware thing and I've got some software thing. Um, so I've got, 
In this case, the software thing is a recurring amount. So you can see ARR is 90K, but the total amount is 180. The reason is it's a two-year subscription, and I have a one-time fee with this uh, unit here at 19,000 bucks. So here we got, you know, that total is $198,000. So why 218? And the reason is that we have services on this um, opportunity as well. So I have a $20,000 services um, deal on it as well. So you can see how we can kind of capture all the amount fields. And if I wanted to actually generate a uh, proposal really quickly, um, we have an integrated um, capability to generate proposals. You know, you can do, get it down to one click. Um, or you can allow the, the user to decide if they want to do a narrative-based uh, proposal document uh, or an order form with a signature block. And all these templates are based, built in Word. Um, so become really easy to render. You can email them right from here. So if, if I wanted to do the order form really fast, click Next. I have all the options to do the signature, or email the document, or I can you know download it as a doc and edit it even further and then email it separately. All the options um, available here. And then we actually store those documents in the SharePoint file um, or SharePoint location uh, for uh, for the customer as well. Uh, so really, really strong. I guess what would be considered Connect Cell, really, really strong integration. It's all native um, right within the system. All right, so that is a very quick overview of um, the customer 360, the difference between a prospect and a customer account. Customer account, obviously, you can store more information like invoices, subscriptions, orders, all that kind of stuff. Um, quick overview of the Microsoft integration. Um, what I thought I'd do is maybe show really, really quickly um, some of the project capabilities. And one of the areas that TechStack is extremely strong and we're a great fit for organizations that are project oriented. Uh, our understanding is that ConnectWise is not a great product tool, uh, project tool. Um, it's a you know great ticketing tool, um, but not necessarily great at projects. So if your organization is a service uh, delivery organization and generate a lot of revenue through services, um, I would say our PSA is um, the one we built is certainly the best I've ever worked with in 20 years. Um, but um, you know I guess you can be the judge of that. Everything we do is project oriented. So projects have project tasks. Um, you know, display everything in a Gantt uh, visualization. Every project task um, captures a uh, role. Um, so basically, you can assign that project task to a role. So in this case, um, I can see that um, I need a developer uh, for this uh, specific project task. I can assign project tasks to various developers. Um, so um, yeah, I can even show you how to how to assign and find resources uh, or do that in another demo. Um, but we can, based on the fact that I need um, a developer for a set of development um, activities on this project, I can assign one developer for all the tasks or specifically choose a developer for each task. Um, and then it'll look for the, uh, the resource that's available. We can track costs against the standard cost of a developer which would drive basically um, in this uh, here what the project cost uh, should be. Uh, so this is a 69% gross margin project because we're anticipating the cost to be around 10 grand. But if you overstaff the project because you're using a more senior developer or whatever, um, we, can, we can track all that kind of stuff too. Uh, really, really strong project costing, really strong uh, ability to invoice either time material and or uh, fixed price uh, milestones. Uh, you can define at a task level if it's fixed price or time material, so you can mix and match on a project. Uh, full what we call RAID um, capability, so risk, actions, issues, key decisions. Um, so you can track all, you know, instead of tracking project uh, issues in a spreadsheet, track it in the system and, and deliver it either through um, the portal uh, I'll show you in a quick sec the customer portal that's available, um, or you can track uh, or export it to a, a spreadsheet or whatever. Um, really, really strong project capability and really strong utilization tracking, really strong backlog tracking, really strong invoicing. Um, and then we also have a ticketing capability. So the ticketing capability is based on Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer service. And all we've done is kind of put a wrapper around it. It's, it's a really good uh, platform. Uh, so you can naturally track Tickets, you can manually create cases, you can get cases brought in from emails, um, you can bring cases in from portals. We have the equivalent concept of a board we call queues. So you can set up as many queues as you want. You can have queues um, automatically populated based on you know specific email addresses, or you can have queues based on uh, portal case submissions that define subjects or um, you know various um, kind of you know attributes which might decide it goes one way versus the other you can move 
case from one queue to the next. Lots of capability. Um, the tickets themselves are uh, pretty cool. Um, so I'll uh, show you here. I'll just go to my, uh, if, if I'm a um, case agent right here, I'll go to all my active cases. Again, I can look at queues. I can look at this case view. Um, and, um, you know, I can open up a case. And you can see all the, uh, the case information. Um, so where it came in from, this came in from a, an email. Uh, you can do uh, knowledge article suggestions. So there are um, knowledge articles that are uh, suggested based on case information, either the title or the description. And then we also have a, a, a similar case rule. And so if you're an agent, you can quickly see which cases were similar. You can go track down uh, the agent that uh, solved that case or what the resolution was. You can copy the resolution into the, the response to the customer in this case. We can build agent scripts um, and then you can do a knowledge search uh, right from the case as well. Um, we also track, um, you can also track IoT alerts. Um, so if any RMM alerts that come in either through email or API, um, we can bring them in. You can promote uh, IoT alerts to uh, cases. You can track IoT alerts to devices, devices which are linked to the customer. Pretty cool. So you can do all your asset tracking, all that kind of stuff all that capability exists uh, in the system. Now it's all supported with a portal. So here I haven't signed in yet, so I'll just sign in really quickly. And I'm gonna sign in as um, uh, David here. Uh, you can sign in using Microsoft Google, uh, Active, you know, Microsoft Active Directory or, or the Google uh, directories, or keep a directory local. And there's a whole invitation process. Um, so I'll just sign in here. And I can quickly go to all of the support cases, um, or I can see projects uh, related to this uh, customer's account. So here I don't have any open cases. I can look at my past cases, all my closed uh, cases. You can quickly see which ones are in progress, all that kind of stuff. You can open a case from here. Um, so when you open a case, we have full case deflections. Um, so if I did, let's say, security, it'll um, quickly go through my knowledge articles and or discussion forums um, and uh, you do a quick deflection and, and track all the deflection stats. We have full SLA, full entitlements, um, you can bill um, uh, time against cases, all this sort of stuff. Um, all of it uh, is, is quite rich. Um, so what I thought I'd leave you with here uh, from the demo standpoint is some of the reporting. So for reporting we're it's like an embarrassment of riches, right? So we have really, really modern platform for reporting in Power BI. Power BI can be accessed via Teams, via web, via mobile device, um, and within the CRM itself. You can embed links to uh, the Power BI reports as dashboards within the CRM uh, tool. Um, we have out-of-the-box reporting for everything. So we have revenue reporting, sales reporting. This is a, you know example of the sales report to analyze a funnel you know, funnel analysis, funnel creation, win loss. You can analyze like where you're winning deals, where you're losing deals, which products are winning, which products are losing. Sales activity, like absolutely insane amount of reporting available on the sales front. We have project reporting, we have um, ticketing reporting. Here's a ticketing dashboard and gives you all the information you need around ticketing. So given that we're a Microsoft platform, given that you're probably very familiar with Power BI, all the data sets are pre-built. -pre tons of dashboards available out of the box um, and then you can just tailor them uh, to your uh, to your every whim. So that that uh, would end the demo part. Uh, what I'll talk a little bit of now of, about is that whole concept of change management and um, and stuff like that. So I'll flip over to my uh, deck. So, so naturally it feels maybe a little overwhelming um, to even think about um, you know how do I possibly get off a platform I've been running for years um, natural. Um, you know, I need to point out that TechStack does this for a living. Um, every customer we work with, every single one, is coming off something. Um, and our first question is, what do you think you're giving it up? You know, giving up. I, I know skepticism is natural. You got data, you, get, you might have customizations or integrations running, you know, user change. Um, it's a lot of work. But what are you giving up? And so for a lot of uh, companies, um, there's a good chance you're dealing with data and that's not great. You probably have uh, a bunch of sidecar applications uh, that are running in the business. Um, in the case of ConnectWise, you know, is the roadmap dead? 
I mean, you know, the standard private equity play is to squeeze support in R and D. That's how you squeeze a company for profit. Um, and so it's very likely um, that they're going to be delayed on the roadmap, and that lift is going to be significant. It's going to be another product, anyways. Um, so it <laughs> becomes a question. Um, and then if you're dealing with a lack of support, um, and you're on an antiquated technology platform. Um, it's not nearly as modern as the stuff you're out there selling every day, especially if you're a Microsoft partner. And by contrast, tech stack, best practices across all departments, particularly strong on marketing, sales, projects. I'd say ConnectWise probably has an edge, likely has an edge with ticketing, uh, specifically with the integrations. Um, so we're not ideal for companies that are really heavy in ticketing um, and require a ton of integrations uh, for ticketing. Um, but there are a lot of ConnectWise shops out there that don't use any of that stuff. Or, um, you know, you can choose to continue using ConnectWise for ticketing and uh, tech stack for everything else in the business. And so we've done projects where there's an integration between the ticketing and our uh, cases so that you can have a common um, uh, view of the customer from tech stack, but let the ticketing uh, or the case team do their thing and have just all the time entries either in tech stack or bring the time entries from ConnectWise into tech stack for billing. Uh, we've done those kind of uh, projects as well. Typical implementation, um, you know, can go shorter, longer, but we're very much a, what we call a hybrid approach. So a little bit of a waterfall, but where we get a little bit more iterative is in configuration. So a lot of back and forth. Um, you know, we show you a demo of the product. You show me a demo of, uh, us a demo of how you're using the product. We capture all the gaps. We fill the gaps either through customizations or configuration or business change. And then, um, you know, do a data load, do the training, go live. That's typically the process. Now for a lot of organizations, if you're um, you know, uh, not on that kind of on-prem licensing of ConnectWise and you're paying them annually, uh, we we can align. So you're not outlying, outlaying more cash than, um, um, than, than you are today. We can align our subscription starts to the renewals uh, of your of your product. The only thing we need in advance would be uh, anything related to the services to, to get the project going. But this is a strategy that we've used to align um, uh, subscriptions so that we don't have uh, an inordinate uh, or doubled up um, cash outline, uh, outlay in the first year. So with that, I want to thank you uh, for this abridged and hurried um, webinar. Um, you know, our website is techstack.com, um, which you would know because that's how we're communicating with you. Uh, my email is mark with a C at techstack.com. Um, with that, I want to thank you for your time today and I hope you have a great one.